resources to encourage curiosity. Um, on the far left, there is a video from PBS Learning Media about how to make crayons from beginning to end. So it shows um, a crayons uh, being made. Um, it's a live action crayon factory. And so you see the crayons going from liquid to the finished crayons. The um, next column is activities. Let Curiosity Thrive is from Sesame Streets and Communities. And this activity encourages children to ask questions and then to look up the question. So the spinner that you have there, that is, um, they use that typically at lunchtime, and you'll see there's crayons on the side, and you're supposed to close your eyes and put your finger in one of those sections, and then so it might be a who question or a what question or a why question, and the children have to come up with question, and that's what they discuss um, during snack time or meal time or something like that. Um, question, questions um, are, is a take home, it's again a free resource from Sesame Streets and Community. It outlines ways to answer questions with a question. Um, so if a child says, I don't understand why my car doesn't work, um, then you say, well, let's, let's try your car and then we're going to listen. So what do you think might be wrong with your car? Or have, what did you hear? And those kinds of things to encourage the child to start to think for themselves. Beautiful Oops by Barney Stahlsberg um, is, it's okay to make a mistake. In fact, hooray for mistakes is what is, uh, the book is all about. A mistake is considered an adventure in creativity. It's like a portal for discovery. Um, if it spills, it doesn't ruin the drawing. Not when you, it becomes a shape and part of the drawing. So it might be a goofy animal, it might be something else. So um, an accidental tear in the paper, um, you can turn it into a, the roaring mouth of an alligator if that's what you want to do. So this is a really uh, fun book um, to do. The Days of Crayons Quit by Drew and Daywalt. Um, this is about poor Duncan who wants to color and opens the box and finds only letters saying that they all quit. And so how he gets them uh, and he realizes that orange is no longer speaking to yellow and um, so the, it goes on and then he, uh, what can Duncan possibly do to appease all of the crayons and get them back on the box? So um, it's a really good um, book to talk about individual uh, conflicts and how Duncan goes about making them friends again. The last book is What Do You Do With An Idea? It's by Kobe Yamanda. And this story is a child has an idea and she wants to bring that idea to the world. And as the child's confidence grows, so does the idea itself. And then one day something amazing happens. Um, and so it's a really great thing about empowering children about their ideas and bringing them forth and making them a reality.